Hello and welcome to a video tutorial of niche genetics. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we work out and calculate the difficulty scoring system. So just before I actually show you everything on here and how we do it, I'm going to take you over to a Word document that I've prepared for you just to better help me explain of exactly how everything's calculated. So the actual difficulty scoring system that you see here, it's built from numbers and um, we have at, towards the bottom of it, it's going to tell you if it's going to be easy, very easy, difficult, moderate. And we actually have six areas that we show you. So it's going to be either very easy, easy, moderate, difficult, very difficult, or extremely difficult. And if it's between 0 to 13, then it's very easy. 14 to 20 is easy. 21 to 30 is moderate. Then you've got 31 to 37, difficult. 38 to 45, very difficult. And 46 plus, extremely difficult. And our scoring system actually goes all the way up to 55. So 49 is extremely difficult, guys. And I'm going to show you exactly how we work this out. But one thing I'm going to be showing you as well is how it's always a good idea to do your own analysis as well um, and have a look at every single site that's actually ranking and to see them as well. Okay, so let me just show you exactly what we take into consideration. We look at the trust flow of each site that is ranking. We look at the domain or domain A, sorry, the domain authority of each site that is ranking and the page authority of each site that that is ranking. We also um, analyze and look at the backlinks of each site that is ranking. We look at the if the keyword is used in the title, if it's used in the URL, if it's used in the heading, and we also look at if it's a home page that is ranking. So I mean, if you have a look down here, if it's a home page or if it's an inner page. OK, and we also have a look at the number of competing sites. Um, so we look at, you know, how many sites are actually competing for this keyword um, that you're looking to analyze. And what we do then um, is build up a scoring system um, and we show you it um, and basically we show you exactly what the difficulty is for this keyword over here to the, to the top right. But we actually do a few more things as well. So we don't just go ahead and calculate all the difficulty score and then just show you the, um, a difficulty scoring here. What we actually do is we take the lowest three sites. Um, so we'll have a look at these sites here. We'll look at the lowest values on each one of these sites and then we'll have on the lowest three three sites, sorry, and then we'll average them out and then we'll come up with the keyword difficulty scoring. So this difficulty scoring here actually tells you how easy it's going to be to break into the top 10 of Google as opposed to how easy it's going to be to rank on position one, number one or page one, page position three. It just tells you how easy or difficult it's going to be to get into the top 10 um, of Google, so onto the page one. Um, so if this is high, then you can just imagine how extra difficult it's going to be to get to the position number one. Um, so this just tells you, you know what, if you are going to track or if you are going to go and um, target this keyword, um, then it's going to be extremely difficult even to get into the top 10 guys. Um, so this wouldn't be one that you'd look for. Instead, you'd be looking at, just have a look at our other video tutorials that shows you how to find um, extremely um, lucrative keywords um, for competitive niches that are not going to be extremely difficult to target. Okay, so what we do um, is we actually look at the lowest three sites, we look at all the values, we average them out, and then we actually give it a difficulty scoring system, a difficulty score um, for each keyword. Um, however, for each site, the difficulty score is the actual difficulty score. It hasn't been averaged out or anything. These are the actual difficulty score scores for each site, and this is the average difficulty score for the sorry this is the difficulty score for the actual keyword itself so for you if you was to target it this is how it hard it's going to be and according to our algorithms it's going to be very difficult and as you can see guys we actually take into account um very uh, we take into account a lot of factors um not every factor of course i mean things like domain age would be a good factor to take into account um social metrics would be very good to take into account as well um something which our enterprise extreme customers um do actually benefit from um but it wasn't something we could automate and get it done with the very first phase um so we do take all of this into account here which gives you a very good um area to actually gauge exactly how difficult it's going to be. Okay, let me just show you something else as well. Um, we actually have certain conditions inside of the system as well, which recognizes social sites and parasite sites. Um, and um, it works with them in a very di in a very different way as well. Um, so if you did actually ever see a domain authority of zero here, even though the sites, when you look down here, there is no domain authority of zero then it's because you're going to find a social site ranking for that. Um, and our algorithm is 
continuously updating guys and these social sites that we find to rank in Google um, then we're gonna start adding them to this exception list that we have um, being built on here so anyway let's come down here and let's see how you can understand this a little bit more as well um, so we've got the lowest and average page authority so this actually tells you the lowest page authority um, that's actually ranking in Google um, and it actually tells you the lowest amount so I mean if you're seeing something like you know a trust flow of 39 then you know straight away if that's the lowest site um, and the lowest site has got a trust flow of 39 and that's a very um, authoritative site and I mean page authority gives you a real good indicator to the actual page that's ranking so for example this one here um, or just say this one here oops let's have a look at this one here okay moz.com forward slash learn hyphen SEO um, this actually gives us a good indicator of how authoritative the actual page is ranking so I mean 91 is fantastic the indicators you know with page authority domain authority trust flow all go up to 100 so 91 is extremely extremely authoritative um, and this tells us how authoritative the pages are and a lot of the time what you will see is when you do actually see a social site ranking on here um, even YouTube videos you'll see that the trust flow is high the domain authority is high um, however when you come and look at the page authority then it's low and the reason it could be low is because it's a fresh page that's recently been created um, and the page doesn't actually have any authority and it's leveraging all of the authority from the actual YouTube um, main domain and domain authority itself Okay, we also have a look at the trust flow and obviously the lowest um, backlink count as well. And this is the lowest backlink count to the domain, not to the actual page. And the reason we didn't do the actual um, um, backlink count to the actual pages, guys, um, was when we were actually initially building this, we found that there was pages that were like two months old, but still from places like Majestic SEO, they didn't show any backlink count for them. So we had to rely on the domain. Um, but the good thing about this is now you have facts about the actual domain and you have facts about the actual page as well and obviously the on-site analysis all gets done for the page and not the actual domain okay and then obviously you've got the backlink count as well so that's a massive amount of backlinks there um, and then you've got the average as well now this average here um, takes into account all of the factors here um, for all 10 of them it divides them by 10 um, so it adds them all together and divides them by 10 to get the average um, backlink of them um, so sometimes what you might find um, is I don't actually like looking at the average count to be honest and the reason behind this is sometimes you might find um, a fairly simple keyword that doesn't have a lot of competition out there that's very easy um, to target and you'll see that you know what the lowest amount of backlinks is like about 70 or something um, but when you have a look at the average amount of backlinks it's like I don't know 5,000 something and the reason behind this is because one site might have say 50,000 backlinks whereas all the other sites might only have 200 but when you add everything up together and divide it by the amount of sites that are ranking in Google which is 10 um, then you come up with a very massive amount of backlink um, backlinks which could which could average out to be a huge amount so I wouldn't certainly recommend you look at the average backlink count here um, but yes the average trust flow the average domain authority and the average page authority is are very good indicators as well because these actually provide you values of the authority of the actual site itself um, and the page page itself um, and obviously they're all divided by each other and, and it gives you a good indicator but I mean like I said before what this um, difficulty score allows you to gauge is how easy or difficult it's going to be to rank on the first page of Google and break into the top 10 as opposed to break into the top five or four or three um, so it's, a, it's it's I mean I certainly like looking at it and I know if it's gonna be high then it's high for a reason and the reason it's high is because of what I just told you is because the metrics are gonna be high um, other than that guys one thing I would like to mention to you as well is let's say for example you find a keyword and you know it's competitive um, but when you actually run it through niche genetics it says it's easy for example um, and you know it's competitive yourself then just remember guys niche genetics can only work based off the information that it has so if it's scraping data from Google and then it takes them sites and sends them over to majestic SEO or moz.com and then majestic SEO comes back and says well you know what the lowest trust or the trust flow on these sites is like five um, and the lowest backlinks or whatever is is very low um, then what we need to re remember and realize guys is um, even majestic SEO is going to have trouble finding all of the backlink data to give a valid trust flow count and to get a give a valid I don't know whatever count um, citation flow count or whatever and the reason behind this is because many 
websites and webmasters use things like Spider Spanker, use many other plugins and um, provide rules in the HT access files to um, disallow robots from coming over and exploring and crawling their websites to um, find out where the links are coming from. Um, so a lot of the times, them links aren't found by Majestic SEO um, and Moz.com and then the domain authority and the page authority and the trust flow and the backlink count doesn't reflect that properly. And as a result, um, you might see something like it's easy. Um, whereas when you know yourself in your heart that you know what it's very difficult um and w all you have to take away from that guys is th this is exactly why i say have a look at each site individually as well um and this is exactly why i say you know um, we need to understand what other webmasters are doing as well to keep these kind of guys like majestic seo and moz.com out of their sites um so that we can't well so their links don't get found but at the same time if their links don't get found we don't get um, proper um, data and metrics um, but at the same time nor does Majestic SEO and Moz.com but because we rely on them guys um, you, you know there's there's not much that we can do about that other than use a little bit of our own um, due diligence and actually check them sites out ourselves manually so anyway guys this is exactly how we calculate the difficulty score it's very simple very straightforward again don't take this as um solid like you know what it's definitely going to be very difficult because niche genetics says it's going to be definitely definitely going to be very difficult but just understand how it's built and why it's telling you it's very difficult or why it's telling you it's very easy as well um, and at the same time guys of course you will need to have a look at the top 10 ranking sites yourself and see what you make from it yourself as well so anyway thank you very much and i hope you enjoy working with niche genetics